Well, today I wanted to talk to you about growing watermelons. Uh, there's a few tips that I wanted to share with you that I've uh, sort of learned from this year's growing of watermelon. Um, there's, there's a number of things that you can do to increase your chances of being successful. Um, and, and there's things that I've learned even from this year that I would change and do again next year. Um, the first tip that's in, in, in well, the first step in growing watermelon successfully is choose your location carefully in the garden. Uh, watermelons want as much sun as you can give them, so pick a nice sunny location and they want really rich, well draining soil. So you can either start preparing that in the autumn uh, in, in sort of in putting compost and fertilizers and mulch down uh, and overwinter it or you can do this in the spring, totally up to you as to when you've got the time uh, to do it. But they like a really rich, organic, well draining soil. The next thing or the next rule in, in doing is using a weed block plastic. Um, this will do two things. One, it'll warm the soil uh, so you'll get more heat into the soil before planting through and it'll also keep the moisture in and the weeds down. Also actually works in keeping the fruit clean rather than it sitting on the soil, it sits on the black plastic and the extra warmth that's around that from the plastic that the sun radiates helps to ripen the melons up. So putting a black plastic down and sowing the watermelon plants through that. Uh, because uh, watermelons are a long season uh, crop, a bit like how peppers and aubergines and things are, uh, you want to start them off early in a greenhouse. Uh, I started these plants, uh, these are a crimson sweet uh, variety of watermelon. I started these in the beginning of March. Similar sort of time as to when I started my sweet potato slips. So beginning of March, you want to sow in about a four inch pot, um, two or three seeds in, in each container, and as they shoot through, pick out the two weakest ones. Don't pull them out, just pinch them off, the two weak ones, and keep one uh, strong growing plant. But start them in March. For planting out, you want the soil to be at least around 17, 18 degrees, which in my area is about the same time as when peonies start to flower. So if you want to judge as to when you can plant out, normally by the time the peonies are in flower, which is about the middle of May here, um, you can then start planting your watermelon seedlings out into the, into the field. Um, from planting out into the fields, to harvest time, it varies from watermelon, but the Crimson Sweet is about an 85, uh, between about an 80 to a 90 day period. That's kind of weather dependent. If you have a good summer, you'd be well in that. If it's a bit cooler, uh, then you probably want to go over a little bit more. Um, but once you plant your watermelons out, you want to cover them with some fleece. Put some horticultural fleece over the plants, one to establish um, and wants for fluctuations in temperature in May, uh, but also keep pests off the plants as well. Um, after about three weeks in growing uh, and you start to see flowers, you want to pull the fleece off because you want to allow pollinated insects, things like bees and things like that to get to the flowers and to get to them. Uh, the first flowers that you'll see on the plants will be the male flowers. Um, you can tell the difference between the male flowers because the male will have uh, just a single flower and that flower on a stem whereas the female you already see a slight bulbous part below it which will then grow into the watermelon uh, don't be too concerned if some of the female flowers don't take it's just how it is you know the plant will will figure out what it can hold and what it can't um, once you then see the watermelon fruit starting to take the gradual process of it going from the size of a marble up to sort of a tennis ball up to kind of you know sort of small football uh, will gradually happen over a period of sort of about a month to two months. Um, watering wise, depends on how much rain you kind of get, you want to deep water them about once a week. They don't like sitting in soggy soil, so hence the well draining, but because watermelons are about 90, 92% water, they do like water, but they don't like having to be sat in soggy soil, otherwise you'll end up with root rot problems. So watering once a week, but then as the plants, as the fruit starts to size up, you then want to reduce watering because it's the dry weather that will produce the sweet melons. The more difficult stage, as opposed to growing them, is to kind of to tell when they're ripe. Uh, there's a couple of tests that you can do to be able to ensure. The first thing is that the vines will start to 
to die off. These are now sort of finishing up, uh, particularly this one. There's three plants in here. This one is starting to finish up. The way you uh, tell is by looking at the vine, you'll see that the tendrils either side of the plant will start to dry off. That's showing that the plant is finished in putting its nutrients and things into the fruit. Uh, the other way to be able to tell is if you turn the fruit over carefully, where it's sat on the ground, that will have turned from a white to a creamy yellow sort of color. So that's the next thing that you tell for when the fruit is ripe. And so they're, they're not necessarily always guarantees, but they're highly likely if, you know, when, when telling that it's ripe. So uh, about the 80 to 90 day mark, we're turning on the variety. Uh, the fact that it's yellow underneath the belly has turned to yellow and the tendrils around the stem uh, where the fruit attaches have all dried up and shriveled. You can tell when a watermelon is not ready, but if you look at this one here, you'll see that the tendrils are still green. Uh, it's still putting energy into the fruit. And so this melon here is not ready. And so, and also this, this one's set later than the first one here. So, so the only good thing now left to be able to uh, see is see if it's ripe, is to cut it open. Let's get a knife and cut it off the vine. So to remove the melon, you should take it off here and just literally snip it straight off. All right, so we can see our first watermelon. That, I, I, don't, I haven't got any scales to weigh it, but that's, that's quite a size watermelon, as you can see. It's got a, a good weight to it. So hopefully this will be perfectly ripe, but we won't know unless we cut it, until we cut it open. Okay, so we've got our watermelon. Uh, it's a really nice size, size one. The moment of truth is only if it's ripe on the inside, so let's have a look and see how we did. Oh, oh, oh look at that, splitting open already. <laughs> oh, I need a bigger knife. Oh yes, check it out. Hope you can see that in the camera. So uh, we've got a nice uh, red center here, seeds in it as well. And uh, the edging here is uh, where it will start from the center and gradually work its way outward. So the way you really want to be able to um, uh, tell if it's sort of ripe is by the, the test that I, that I mentioned and how the, the, the yellow will be on the base where the stem is. So let's Let's try a piece. All right, homegrown watermelon. Oh my word. So sweet. So good. Absolutely beautiful. Also, I forgot to actually mention that this watermelon, the seeds were grown from a store, uh, a store-bought watermelon. So one from a supermarket. I found one, I thought that's a fairly nice size watermelon. Uh, the variety was a crimson sweet because I saw it on there. But I saved the seeds and planted it out here. And these are the results that you get. One beautiful, gorgeously tasting watermelon. My wife is going to have to try some of this. Don't eat off a knife though, by the way. So, that is how you grow watermelon, particularly in the southeast of the UK. Uh, just a few simple tips and rules. Planting early, put them into March, sort of time, start sowing your seed. Plant them out. Don't disturb the roots when you're planting them out. So once they're once they're in the pot, once they're ready to go out, about the middle of May here in the southeast, um, plant them out into plastic, raised mounds, well draining, put fleece over until the, the flowers are in, 
and then literally just give them water once a week and you should be harvesting your own beautiful homegrown watermelons like this. Take care, speak to you all soon. Thank you.